Hey there, grape grower. This is Fritz Westover, your viticulturist here at Virtual Viticulture Academy and the Vineyard Underground podcast. And I'm answering a question from a grower, just like you, maybe, who's in Maryland. His name's Brent. And Brent had a question here about pruning in the rain. So let's go ahead and bring this all to fruition here and talk about Brent's question. Brent says, could you please go into depth about pruning in the rain? Um, for my future reference. I know you have gone over this many times, but how important is this? If they're calling for rain tonight, could I prune during the day or would you not recommend it? In Maryland, it is extremely hard to only prune when there is no rain in the forecast for several days. We would never get anything or everything done if we applied that rule. Is a few hours enough for a wound, a pruning wound that is, to heal? And could we prune on Tuesday if they're calling for rain on Wednesday? This is a great question, Brent, and let me start by answering it um, in, in more of a, a, a large format way. So there's pruning wounds are where the disease, uh, trunk diseases, ESCA, Eutypha, Botrysteria, that's where the spores that cause the infection for this disease, these diseases, enters into the grapevine through any pruning wound. It could be on one-year-old wood, two-year-old wood, or any age wood, we know these pathogens can enter. So when you say, um, don't prune before the rain. That is correct. We always uh, try to encourage grape growers um, to not prune right before the rain because rain is where those spores of the diseases are splashed into the pruning wounds. And if you have a fresh pruning wound, that means it's susceptible and um, it's susceptible to infection from any of these diseases. So what I like to recommend is not pruning immediately before the rain, but you bring up a good point where you're growing grapes in Maryland. It rains a lot during the dormant pruning season. So you really need to um, get your pruning done before the end of the, the winter season. And if it rains every three or four days, that means you're gonna inevitably be pruning right before a rain event in some cases. So what I'm recommending that growers do is look into products that can be placed on the pruning wounds that can protect those pruning wounds from diseases that cause trunk decline. And, and this would be Esca, Eutypha, Botrysphyria, and others. So there are some products out there that are either conventional. Uh, an example of one of those would be Topsin M. That's fungicide that is labeled for use on pruning wounds. The problem with that product is it can be washed off during a rain event and it would need to be reapplied. Um, there are new biological products that are available. An example of one of those would be Biotam 2.0. And that is a um, mixture of two trichoderma fungal species that is applied onto the pruning wound. So it can essentially infect the imprinting wound, inhabitate there, and keep out the disease, just to put it in simplest terms. And the good news about these products is a lot of them are organic. And then there's also some other products that are organic that are barriers, physical barriers that are sprayed on pruning wounds so that a spore cannot germinate on the pruning wound and infect the wood. And an example of that would be uh, Vitaseal, for example. So there's three different, different modes of action with just those types of products. And that would be the only really safe way to protect your pruning wounds with one of those methods before a rain event. Um, I kind of lean towards the sealants or biologicals only because they, they tend to not need as much reapplication after that rain event has occurred. So for your case, if you are pruning and you know rain's coming and you have to prune anyway, my best advice to you is to find the suitable pruning wound protectant that you can put on before that rain comes. And if you can get it on immediately after the rain, that would be acceptable too. Um, now, as far as um, pruning wounds and how long they take to heal, uh, I did a great interview with Dr. Akit Eskelin on the Vineyard Underground podcast, where we went deep diving into this topic and talked about how dynamic the process is of pruning wounds to heal. Pruning wounds can sometimes um, dry up and become basically sealed or healed within seven to 10 days after pruning. And sometimes it could take weeks, if not months. Sometimes a pruning wound can heal up and then reopen when sap flow starts in the spring. So what I've done here is I've placed the episode number, it's episode number 38, Understanding Pruning Wounds and Protection Options with Dr. Akif Eskelin. This is a great episode for you to listen to on the Vineyard Underground podcast. You can find it wherever you listen to podcasts, whether it's Spotify or Apple Podcasts. So check that out. That should help answer a lot more of your questions. And I'm glad you were able to be here today to ask a question. I hope it's going to help a, a bunch of other growers out there, not only in Maryland, but in other parts of the world where we're concerned about pruning wound diseases. Take care, and we'll see you on the next episode.